Okay. So we're actually going to start the assignment. Okay. So you guys can keep your lids closed, though, please. Okay. And let me pull this up here. And like I said a few minutes ago, you keep your lids closed. We'll work your problems. We'll write down the solutions. And then at the end of the hour, I'll give you time, like the last 10 minutes or so, that you can open up your lids and click on the, on the answers, OK? Oh, also, here's the deal. We're not going to finish this assignment right now. We're, we're going to spend several days on this, OK? When you're all done, when you're entirely done for today, when you're all done, on the, if you're not sure where it's at, I'll, I'll show you here in just a second. Hang on. Let me pull it up right here. Move this over. OK, when you're all done, you go over here to uh, your name, and okay, my, yours. I think on your name it'll say like submit or save or whatever. You want you don't want to submit it today. You don't want to. Why? Because if you submit it, what happens? It goes to me, and you've answered ten out of forty questions. You're gonna get a bad grade. Okay. I realize people make mistakes and they do that from time to time. If you accidentally submit it to me, and you didn't mean to, just tell me. Say, hey, Mr. K, and I'm not going to be able to do it right away, but when I get a chance, just say, I accidentally submitted it. I'll go to my computer, I'll unsubmit it, and I'll send it right back to you, and it'll give you your assignment. It's just like giving you the piece of paper right back, okay? It doesn't clear it. Your answers are still there, but it still gives you the opportunity to finish up the assignment, okay? So if you ever do that, now if you do it every single day, it's going to tick me off, okay? But just if you accidentally submit it, just tell me not, that you did it, and I'll, I'll get it back to you. Um, so today, you don't want to hit submit, you want to save it. So when you're all done, when it gets close to 3 o'clock, you want to save your assignment and then exit it, okay? And I think there's a save button and there's an exit button. I would save it first, then I would exit. If you just exit, it doesn't save the work that you did, okay? So just make sure you save it and then you exit after that, okay? Now, I'll be honest right here. Mauer, can you read that? Yeah. Really? I can. Uh, I can. Okay, good for you. You got better, hand, better eyesight than I do. I can't see it. If you can't see it, that's okay because I'm going to write them on the board. Okay? So, if you're back there and you can't see it, it's okay. Okay, so, let's look at the very first question. Now, just so you understand, the assignments, I make up, I don't make them up, I, I choose the problems. They give me, for every section, they'll give me anywhere from, you know, 40 to, 80, 40 to 80 questions that I can give you guys. We'll never give you 80 questions for an assignment, okay? Usually your assignments will be between 20 and 20 and 40 questions, okay? I will tell you this, though. What do you think, and think about it for a second. Would you rather have an assignment with hardly any questions or a lot of questions? What do you think? Hardly any. A lot. I heard both reasons. Both, I mean, need reasons. Lot, so yeah, Why do you think... I prefer to have a lot of questions. Why do you think? If I don't give you very many questions, not only that, there's even, I'm lazy. Just so you know, I'm lazy. There's even better, I think there's even a simpler reason why I'd rather not have a very few questions. If there's very few questions, what do you think you know about those questions? They're going to get complicated. They're what? They're going to get complicated. No, not, not because of that. There'd be a reason why I wouldn't give you very many questions. They're really difficult, okay? I'm not going to give you 80 really, really hard questions. We'd be on that assignment for a month. But if I gave you 80 questions, they'd be really easy, okay? When I, if I bring me an assignment that's only got like five questions, just if you're thinking sweet, no. There's a recent why I'm only going to give you five questions. because They're hard, okay? All right, so let's look at question. It says exercise number five. Number five, what happened to questions one through four? When I looked at the assignment, I thought questions one through four, Nah, I didn't think those that, that, that important. Okay, I look at the ones that I, that I want you to be able to do. Okay, so whatever questions one through four were, do you think I'm going to test you on those on the next test? No, not. no, no, not definitely not. Okay, if we don't cover it in our assignments, it's not going to be on a test. If we do cover it on assignments, it probably will be on a test. Will this question be on the test? Not the exact question, but real similar. Okay, so number five, number one dash one. It says, solve this, and then it says, which statement shows the correct justification for the steps used to solve the equation? So it says, x plus 5 equals 8. So I'll write that down. Okay? And then it says, x equals box. Okay? So we're actually going to work through this. 
and I'm going to tell you right now, the, the computer is going to frustrate you from time to time because it's, it's picky. This computer is a little bit picky, okay? So um, I want to make sure you type them in the correct way. So if I'm going to show all my steps, you don't have to necessarily show all of them, but I'm going to draw my line where at? On the plus sign? On the equal sign. Could I get rid of 8 on each side? Could I? Yes. Should I? No. I should get rid of what? Five. Why? Because then, it, then the uh, five's where? Five, five, where? Right. I don't need to get rid of the eight. I need to get rid of the five. How do I get rid of a plus five? Minus five. Where? On both sides. On both sides. Minus five. Minus five. Draw my line. What happens to the five and the negative five? Get rid of that. So is there anything on the left? They cancel each other out. Is there anything on the left? No. Oh, there's something on the left. The X. Do what it says on the right hand side. Where'd you get three from? Are we done? Why? Because the X is by itself. X is by itself. So the answer is three. Now, again, if you can't see, if you're sitting near the back, this is what it says on the computer screen. Do we type in X equals three? Are you going on your computer type in X equals three? So yes or no? Why? You're right. You're not going to, you shouldn't type. If you type in x equals 3, it's going to say you're wrong. Why don't you put x equals 3? It's already there. If you type in x equals 3 on the box, did you do it right? If you put, but the computer's going to say it's wrong. Okay, You need to type in 3, just 3. Don't type in x equals 3. Okay. Now, one more thing. This doesn't affect us right now, but in the future it might. What if you have to type in x equals 3? Do you think you type in lowercase x equals 3 or capital X equals 3? On why? You're right, why? Because if you can tell on the screen, they use what? So the computer is picky at times. If you typed in capital X equals 3, it's going to say you're wrong. Okay. Now, on a written test, if you make a capital X, am I going to mark you wrong? No. Okay, I'm not going to mark you wrong. Because I know what you're saying. I, I, the computer you know, is set on this is the right answer, but I, I can tell what you're saying, okay? Now, this isn't quite done. We're, we're done, but they ask us, what step did we use? Well, the first one says, did we add five to each side? No. Did we, did we add eight to each side? No. Did we subtract five to each side? Yeah. So we're going to click on that one right there. I'll just write that down, subtract five to each side. So when you do this on the computer, you'll sub click on subtract five to each side, okay? All right. Next one. We're going to skip number six. Let's move on to number seven. Now, when I say skip six, do you guys have to do six or not? You need to on your own later. I'm going to do the odds with you right now. Okay? So, number seven it says y minus four equals three. Now, again, I said this about 10 minutes ago. I'm going to say it again. Can, can any of you guys do this in your head? No. What's the answer? Right. Yep. Okay. You did it in your head, right? Do I want you to show your work? Yes, I do. Because, again, at some point, you're not going to be able to do these in your head. Everybody, I don't care how smart you are. At some point, you reach the point where you cannot do it in your head. You've got to know the process. So, what I mean is this. You don't necessarily have to draw the line, but I want to see a plus 4 here and a plus 4 here. Draw a line. Cancel them out. Is everything gone on the left-hand side? No. What's still there? Oh. The line. And then do what it says on the left, on the right. 3 plus 4 is 7. We done? Yes. How come? Yes. Why is by itself? What was the step that we did to each side? Yes. Added 4. I don't know what it says. Add 4 plus 4. Same thing, whatever. Now, if you're wondering, is it add 4 plus 4? It's whatever it says there. The computer says, it says add. It says add 4. Okay? All right. Next one. Question nine. So, w plus three is negative four. What if we have negatives? Doesn't matter, we're still doing the same way. W plus three is negative four. Okay. So, what are we gonna do? What do we need to get rid of? Get rid of what? And how do I get rid of the three? Do I subtract 3 or put negative 3? Put negative 3. Negative 3. Who's right? What? Or minus 3 or negative 3 each time? It's the same thing. 
You say negative 3, he says minus 3, same thing. Okay? So we'll put minus 3 here and minus 3 here. Draw a line. Anything cancel? Yeah. What? Those cancel. We draw some out. What's on the left hand side? And what's minus 4 minus 3 more? Negatives. Now be careful. You might be thinking negative and negative are positive. When you times a negative and a negative, it's positive. But a minus 4 minus 3 more is what? Negative. So think of negatives as you owe money. If you owe me $4 and then you owe me three more dollars, some people think it's negative 1. It's not negative 1, it's negative 7. And we're done because W is all by itself. Okay? And what was our step? Subtracted 3 to each side. That's what we did. We subtracted 3 to each side. Now, if you didn't already catch on to this, I think I told you yesterday that I kind of talk kind of quickly. Yeah. But if you haven't realized, I might be talking fast, but I'm saying the same thing over and over and over and over again. Okay? So it'll be okay. But if I ever do go through too quickly, just let me know. Let's look at number 11. Number 11, we have negative 14 equals it's P minus 11. I'm going to draw my line to the equal sign. Again, could I get rid of the negative 14? Yes. Should I? No. What should I get rid of? Uh, Why? You want to get P by itself. We don't care about the other side. Again, if I want to talk to her, I don't care if it was Mrs. Neal's or Mrs. Uh, Hammond's room. I want to get rid of all you guys. I'm going to empty you guys out, not Mrs. Hammond's class. Okay? So how do I get rid of that 11? I subtract 11? Yeah. Why do we have 11? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, it says minus 11, so we do the opposite. So we plus 11. And if I plus 11 here, do I minus 11 over there? No. no. If I plus 11 on one side? Plus 11 on the other side. Okay, what's going to cancel? The 11s. The 11s. Is there anything on the right? No. P. And then the left hand side says negative 14 and positive 11. You owe me 14. Now think about negatives, or maybe you like football. Negatives mean you lose yards, positives mean you gain yards. If you lost 14 yards and, gain and 11. gained 11, you'd be at negative 3. You've lost 3 yards. Or if you spent $14 but earned $11, you're still $3 in the hole. I don't care how you think of it, whatever's easier for you. And what do we do to each side? Add it 11 to each side. We added 11 to each side. Okay, let's look at 13. If it feels like we're doing the same problem over and over and over, that's good because we basically are so far. Okay, R plus negative 8. Okay. This one looks like it's a little more difficult. It's not. Okay. We're still going to get R by itself by doing the opposite. We have a negative 8 over there. Plus 8. Plus 8. Where? Where somebody said? By the under the 8, under the 9. Is there a quicker way of saying that? Two words. If I say where, you should say both sides. sides. You're not wrong, but where is both sides? Plus 8 and plus 8. Okay, the positive 8 and the negative 8, they go on. What's on the left? R equals 10 plus 8, 18. And what did we do? Added 8 to each side. Okay, now just so you understand, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to do, I said I was going to do the odds with you. I, I kind of lied. I'm going to do every other problem with you, okay? And what I mean is this. I did 13 with you guys. Gonna I'm going to skip 14. The next problem on the assignment is 17. What happened to 15 and 16? Yeah. I looked at it and I said, no. eh, I'm not going to do those. Don't worry about them, okay? So I'll do 17. If this was an even problem, would I do this one with you right now? Would you say or not if it was an even one? Actually, yes, because, again, I'm not going to do the odds. I'm going to do what problems with you? Every other problem, every other one, okay? So even if that was that, so I'll tell you what, we'll stop there.
So what, what I'm going to do is this. I do actually have a couple problems for you guys to fill. But what I'm going to do is this. You guys have like 15 minutes or so. Shouldn't take you that long. Um, is there people in here that still don't have their laptops? You don't have a laptop, do you? Okay. Did you, can you copy these down? Why don't you copy them down and hang on to them? Otherwise, you're going to do them on your own later, okay? So what I'm getting at is this. You have your laptop and you're all set to go. You can click on your answers. I would jot the stuff down and just keep the paper. Otherwise, you're going to do them on your own later, okay? And uh, so go ahead, and, go ahead and put them in. Log into Big Ideas Math and put them in. And then we'll continue on with this on, uh, on Monday. Oh, one more thing. While you're doing that. Hang on a second. What's going on here? 